Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 8th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun as we experienced the total solar eclipse today. And here in southern Ontario, we experienced full totality. Having a look here at the last 48 hours of imagery, we did and were able to see the solar prominence reaching, erecting from the surface of the sun. Amazing images. I shared about nine seconds of, Im Im of imagery on my channel and just once in a lifetime experience. Truly amazing. This is looking at the last 48 hours incoming and outgoing. We do have still that large sunspot region. No new solar flares or CMEs to talk about. The last couple days I've been pretty quiet. Apologize for no updates, but I'm here now having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. Minor B-class solar flares at best. We also have an extended and uh, elongated coronal hole, earth facing, another one developing. Having a look at 171 angstroms here, just some amazing imagery of our sun. And again, I would have taken some more footage, but really I wanted to enjoy this solar eclipse without technologies and just enjoy the possible look of six sunspots on our sun. Having a look at that large sunspot now as it is earth facing, but it does not look like it. I mean, there's probably about a 30 to 40% chance of a strong flare coming from that region. Definitely going to be keeping an eye on it. Another light here. You can see just this black hole and another one developing just south and cresting in. Current space weather conditions, there are none to speak of right now. Solar winds are coming in at about 427 kilometers per second. And as you can see, solar X-ray flux is still in a low B range. No major solar flares to talk about. Solar proton flux steady and low now. Geomagnetic activity sitting at a KP1. So we're all clear right now, folks. But a little bit of energy is coming in here for tonight. And as well, coronal hole wind stream. But we are in the clear. No new CMEs or space weather events to talk about. Having a look at ISWA space prediction spiral. A couple backside CMEs there. One grazing Venus. And then another one here right at Venus. So that is where all the, the multiple sunspots are right now. We've got four that are Earth, or sorry, six that are Earth facing right now. Most of the activity is on the backside, though. Having a look here at Soho Coronagraph, Lasco 2. This is the last two days of imagery. Only energies really being witnessed here are coming from the north and as well the south and then a little bit there on the northwest. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as worst, uh, average, I'd say right now. Largest across the world was a 5.2 in Tonga. Deepest was a 4.3 in Tonga region. 560 kilometer depth, I believe, 4.3557. Yeah, that's the deepest past 24 hours, but seeing lots of activity up into the Pacific Northwest, Philippines, Indonesia, continuing aftershocks through Taiwan, and then notable uh, activity here moving into China. And as well, Afghanistan, pretty deep earthquake for the region. South American plate, 4.9 there, Chile. And as well, a 4.5 Venezuela. Puerto Rico, minor seismicity all around the island. And El Salvador, pretty deep earthquake there as well for the region. 
across the North American plate, no major swarms to talk about and no rare earthquakes to talk about. For instance, the New Jersey earthquakes. USGS is reporting 208 earthquakes, 24-hour period. Having a look across the U.S., there is minor seismicity north and northwest of Yellowstone Lake and as well across the Pacific Northwest and California. But I wanted to show you here the last seven days for earthquakes across the USGS. And there's been 44, or sorry, 42 aftershocks since the 4.9 and 4.8 earthquake, New Jersey. Notable activity across the New Madrid. And as well, notable earthquake here, 3.3, St. Boniface, Canada, Quebec. And there's been about, uh, let's say, 75 to 74 aftershocks in Taiwan since that large 7.4 earthquake. That's the last seven days for shakers around the world. I want to thank you all for subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. Thank you for being a part of this amazing, loving, and compassionate channel, community. Please watch across the Pacific Northwest plate right now. Heads up and as well up into the Cascades. Increasing seismicity. Things are leading up to these predictions right now. Just have an earthquake plan. That's what it's all about. Staying aware and prepared. Especially through China. Having a look here at SO2 forecast. We're going to start out here looking over North America. Notable activity there coming from Popopketatol and as well the Iceland volcano. Looking across Russia, Southeast Asia and Europe. Pretty big plumes coming out of Met Mount Etna through Italy. And as well, southern Japan, Sakurajima volcano. Then we get to the southern hemisphere and we're going to see something strange here. Overlooking Africa, Australia, and then the southern hemisphere. So something has erupted in Antarctica somewhere. All of this SO2, I don't know where it came from, but it is on our map right now. And the only active volcano is right here in Antarctica. But as you can see, this all came from uh, west of that eruption. Or maybe not, I'm not sure. But we're definitely going to have to look into this as there's been a large volcanic eruption in the southern hemisphere producing immense amounts of SO2 right now. Have a look, South America and Africa. Very strange indeed on the day of the total solar, so, total solar eclipse. Now let's get to weather here as we do have a low pressure system being smashed by a high pressure ridge and as well extreme weather here will be breaking out 10th into the 11th Gulf states and moving northeastward into Ontario and then Quebec strong system moving into California around the same time and then blizzard conditions through Quebec and an interesting developing situation here for central US and the prairies Canadian prairies long range forecast showing a very big system and quite possibly blizzard-like conditions across the prairies as a cold front slips through and behind there. Extreme weather event on our doorstep. Overlooking Europe, we do have strong system now moving into Ireland and the United Kingdom over the next couple days. Strong winds and rain associated. High pressure ridge moving in for parts of southern Europe. And then these systems start to track inward and extreme weather, possible breakout through Iran, parts of Yemen, overlooking Africa and Australia, extreme weather for New Zealand and as well parts of South Africa as two pretty strong systems move towards the towards Antarctica. Other than that, no major typhoons or cyclones here forecast. Going to leave you here overlooking North Pacific.
big system now moving up into Alaska and a couple more in the long range, and as well as strong system north of Hawaii, set to bring in, most likely, some high winds and strong surf. Much love, everybody. Thank you so much for being part of this channel. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.